I don't shoot nudity. Okay. I often have nudity featured in my pictures, sure. Um, I feel that if someone looks at my portfolio and the first thing that they notice is that there's nudity into it, uh, in it, I should say, they've I've either done my job poorly or they've missed the point. So I don't shoot anything that belongs in on um, like page three of the sun or something like that. I've, you will not see any anything like that in my portfolio. Um, I shoot what makes sense aesthetically and to tell the story at the time that I'm shooting it. Uh, if uh, oftentimes there is a, a specific point to it um, where it's actually part of the story, maybe it's to add some vulnerability, maybe it's to, to actually show power as well because you can be powerful in your own body. Maybe it's, um, or maybe it's just because it's aesthetically pleasing for what we're looking at. Oftentimes people will add more and more and more to, to imagery to try and make it look interesting when many times it's actually looks more visually pleasing to make it a bit more stripped back. Um, I did a series of works for a while that was that I called um, Subtract, which was the concept of it was to make it as simplistic as possible and challenge myself to create something that was aesthetically pleasing and creative with as minimal tools as possible. So it was white background, one model, one light, um, and just the camera, no wardrobe, no nothing. It was just, yes, they were nudes, but the point was that high key on a white, you know, white background thing that looks like some crappy e-com shoot is difficult to make look interesting. I did that and my goal was to create something that you could look at and it looked like a piece of art, not a piece of like e-com or some trashy picture or whatever, which I feel like I achieved because I'm awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the point of it was to actually take simplicity and turn it into something more complicated because really the the most, uh, I feel like to have the most amount of skill or to demonstrate the most amount of skill is to be able to take the basics and do them well. Basics executed well in any art form is the art form in its purest sense. Just being able to use a Hasselblad medium format, whiz bang, super amazing detail camera. And you know, that does not, to me signify that you have got any kind of imagination or any kind of ability on an artistic level. It's just the knowledge required to run a piece of equipment. You can teach anyone how to run a piece of equipment, but you cannot teach art. It's just how you see the world. I went through a little phase of loving analog. Um, I wanted to love it, I think, but then I've actually decided that I hate it. Um, one of the things that I really liked about it was that I, it, it kind of had a level of excitement where you, um, you know, you're not checking what you're shooting and things like that, but I already shoot like that. There's no point to me to do that. I don't, I'm, I'm not the kind of person who takes a picture and looks at the back of the screen. I, I use the back of my camera as a visual light meter. I take a picture, look at it, go, perfect. And when I'm happy with it, that's it. I don't look again until I download them onto my computer. So I'm already treating it like a film camera. And by having those, the extra space, rather than limiting myself to like whatever it is, 24 shots, 36 shots, um, without having to change roles, it means that I can take more pictures, right? So some people call, call taking a lot of pictures like spray and pray or some shit like that. It's, that's a load of crap. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Um, if you went and shot like Vogue magazine in the 90s when they were shooting on film, 
if you shot one roll of fucking film and handed it in to the art director, they would laugh you out of the fucking building. You would have multiple cameras lined up with assistants reloading those fucking um, films and just handing you a new camera every single time. It's not like the shot rate has increased just because there's more space. It just means we're using less film. It's ridiculous. The only reason that people shoot less pictures on their film rolls is because they're cheap fuckers that won't buy more film, right? Increasing the amount of shots you take increases your hit rate every time. It's simple maths. Um, the other thing is one of the most powerful tools that you have in your arsenal for directing a model and getting more out of them is pushing the button. Every time they hear the little and the flash go off, it's a subconscious reminder or a subconscious way of saying to them, well done, that looked good. Without having to say a word, you push the button and it tells them, that looks so good, I needed to take a picture of it. That is a powerful tool. Do you know what happens if your model is not feeling confident or not feeling like they're doing a good job? They will start shrinking in front of you. They will turn in from this really confident, exuberant person into a small kind of boring thing to take pictures of. So if you have to take 100 pictures in order to build their confidence, take those 100 pictures. You know, Don't get worried about if someone sees the back of your camera or some shit and goes, ooh, why did you take that picture? Who gives a shit? I took the picture so she would stop doing that pose. She's obviously, she thinks it's a good one. I can't find the angle to make it work. I'll just push the button and we'll move on. That's the easiest way to get through stuff. It's a lot better to just take the picture. Maybe it actually worked, who knows? But if it doesn't work and you go, I see what you're trying to do there, but it doesn't look good. Let's not do that, right? No one wants to hear that. They, you have to constantly be telling the person that you're shooting that they're doing a great job, that they look fantastic. That's your job. Your job is to make them feel amazing. That is when they will start to look amazing. When they believe it, then they will be able to show it to you. If they don't believe that they look great, then you're doing a shit job as a, as a photographer and you should quit shooting people and go back to shooting cans of Coke or like other products. Because if you have shit people skills, you have no business interacting with people. Currently, uh, what I'm working on is I am literally the studio we're sitting in right now. I'm closing it down um, in one week's time, maybe two weeks, I forget. Um, and I'm traveling the world. Uh, I'm basically from October 21st, I think I start in Paris. Um, and then I'm off to like Italy, Berlin, whatever, I don't know, a bunch of different places. Um, and I'm uh, not going to have a, a fixed home for the next year or so. Um, and I'm just basically taking my, um, my YouTube channel um, and the associated question and answer session that I do. Ask Vent Live. Check it out. It's amazing. Um, I'm just taking that on the road, which is basically, uh, you know, answering people's questions about the creative industry, um, how to get started, uh, anything from technical stuff through to uh, business strategies, that sort of thing. Um, I'm also running uh, individual workshops in photography and, um, and the business side of the creative industry. And I'll be doing like photo shoots and stuff and just meeting lots of rad people. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, tip number one is um, decide if it's what you really want to do um, and understand that there's different levels of everything in life. You don't have to be a fucking ninja at everything. Yeah, so just because you want to do photography doesn't mean that you can't be an accountant who does photography on the weekends and still make beautiful pictures. Ask yourself what you want to achieve. Um, if, if it's important to you to be publicly recognized for your work, um, then maybe pursue it more. Uh, but you'll actually find that the more you make it your income, the less you will love it, unless you're a very, very technical or technically driven photographer. Um, if you love just taking family portraits or shooting weddings or something like that, 
amazing, go for it. Fill your boots, you'll have a great time, you'll make plenty of money and um, you know, you'll, you'll get by and you'll enjoy your career. Uh, if you want to be more creative and have 100% control over what you do, then ease into it, still work your ass off on it, but don't like think that you're just going to be um, come, you know, shooting amazing brand campaigns and being the creative director immediately or something like that. You've got to work at that and you are better, you're better off in many ways um, either easing into that or finding a different way to achieve that. Myself, um, I don't even like, I don't even really take that many, if any, commissions, brand jobs and things like that because I want to do shit my own way. I find alternate revenue streams the same as you would in any business. Um, my photography is a platform to advertise my other work the work that brings me in income, the income allows me to do whatever the fuck I want. That's what I want to do. I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to just shoot some family portrait or some shit. I want to create art that I'm proud of. In order to do that, I have diversified my business and found alternate, re alternate revenue streams. That is the smart way to play it. That is the business like, that is the smart way in any business to do. Diversify your income and, um, and figure out you know, where you can leverage products and services in different uh, mediums. If you want, if you're interested in hearing more about what I've got to say, um, please do check out the Ask Vents show on YouTube. It's uh, youtube.com front slash Brian Vent. Um, everything that I do has Brian Venth on it, so I'm across pretty much every single social media platform you can imagine at Brian Venth, that's me. Um, and yeah, just stop on by and check out what it's all about. I really highly encourage um, community interaction, which is what I'm all about. So if anyone has questions, anything like that, that's what the actual show is. Just tweet me questions using the hashtag AskVent and I make videos answering them. Um, I also do live sessions for free depending on the location. And that's what I'm gonna be doing the next year is going from city to city throughout the world, just running live sessions. Come on in, ask me questions, ask me if, you know, what size my shoe is or something, I don't know. Whatever you feel like. This duck. I was here one night, or late, in the middle of the night, it was dark, and I heard this little noise. Yeah, and it sounded like this. And, and some silly, silly little kid will start laughing and, and it'll be, before you know it, you know, they'll all be laughing. Gemstone Films for providing the lighting kit. For equipment hire and video production needs, check out gemstonefilms.org.